Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. It's so glad you could join us today. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We have got the boatless angler with us, Antonio. And uh, we also have Lisa with us today. And today folks, we're out fishing out of Point Abano. Uh, we're fishing for perch. And believe it or not, it's the end of September, eh? This is unbelievable weather. Yes it is, it's really eh? warm. <laughs> October is just around the corner and we're out here in, in shorts. And you know, this time of year, you always wonder what to fish for, bass, salmon, trout, perch. But on a day like today, it's gotta be perch. So it's a two T-turn two, two, two rig for me. Um, I've got three. Antonio has three and, and so does Lisa, right? Yeah. And uh, we could use up to three hooks here in Ontario. We can't use more than three, but you can use three. And uh, oh, maybe you could use four hooks, I think. You could uh, use four. Sure. You could use four hooks in Ontario. I'm pretty sure you could use four hooks in Ontario. So what am I doing with three then? You could put an extra hook out. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. There you go, Lisa. I was gonna say we're fishing out here in between. We're fishing in around 55 to 60 feet of water, dropping our lines right to the bottom. And as you can see, the hooks are. We have one hook close to the bottom. Another hook is slightly above. And in this case, with three hooks, you have a third one even a little more suspended. And uh, we're looking for those nice Lake Erie perch. And it's just a gorgeous day out here. We've got a very slow drift, so it's, it's perfect. We don't even have to anchor. And uh, we're hoping to get into some nice fish today. And the two T-turn rig that I've got with the minnows, it will allow those minnows to swim freely around. And that's what I like about uh, that kind of rig. It works really well. And um, especially for bigger bait, eh? Like we've got, unfortunately, tiny minnows, small minnows. We um, stopped off at Dominion Bait and got ourselves some uh, nice bait, but they were all very small. But they'll they're work. Working. They're they're, working. Yeah, they're working. And uh, because we're drifting so slow, what I might do, just to cover a little bit more ground, rather than fishing straight down, I think what I'll do... Cast it? Yeah, I'm going to cast it just a bit. Just like so, and then what I'll do is I'll just work my line slowly back towards the boat, and you cover a little more ground that way, and you might even entice uh, entice a, a bite. I took your advice and casted it. <laughs> you cast it that way though, did you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Lisa? You've got a good one? Uh, might be a little small. A little small? I think it's... Oh, it's a keeper. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. Oh. Not your typical Lake Erie jumbo perch, but... No. There's two, two baits missing Oh, look at that. So maybe casting to the back of the boat is the better ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I just had a hit. Oh, I missed him. I put it back down. I'm just running my little five foot, little one piece five foot rod. I like this rod. This one, I actually, uh, it's a medium action rod. I'll run it for bass. I'll run it for walleye. I'll run it for perch. I just like it. It's a nice little five foot rod. That one is what? Six, five and a half, Antonio? That one Lisa's using? Yeah, uh, I think it's five and a half. Yeah. Five and a half? Two yeah. I might have lost my uh, my minnow. Time to rebate. Now speaking of rebate, one thing I do like, no, I still have my bait. One thing I do like is the minnow net we're using. We've, if you can find a little minnow scoop with a, with a styrofoam handle to it, those ones work great because they, they float inside your uh, inside your minnow bucket and you're not always reaching in for it. It's just handy. It's a little handy thing to have. Especially when the water is cold. Well, when you're ice fishing, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you're ice fishing, it makes a huge difference. But for out here, I mean, it's still handy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fish. Hey, the three hook system. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Uh, Smaller fish though. Small? Well, it's See? not bad. Oh yeah, that's well, about the size of the last one you caught. They're borderline. I think I'll let this one go. Yeah, okay. You gotta let the folks know your favorite tip for catching multiple perch on a three hook rig. It's a secret. <laughs> you gotta let the cat out of the bag. What's your secret? Basically when you get a bite, your reaction is to set the hook, but don't set the hook. Just wait. That's what he likes to do. And it is a good technique, I will admit. When you get a hit, just let your line go a little slack and just wait a second or two because usually there's more than one yeah. perch around, right? Yeah. And then the other ones will see the other bait and they'll just, they'll attack it and you'll end up catching multiple fish on one rig. Bite and fish, Antonio. Yeah? Yeah, I cast it out just a little bit, but it feels 
small. I think we're into some small Lake Erie perch here. Unless it's a goby. But I didn't use your method. It was tap, 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 and I pulled. Then I bet you only have one. <laughs> yeah, but it might Ooh, be a good I one. I lost some good. Did you? Yeah. That's, that's not that bad. That's actually not bad. That's, uh, I'm going to say, borderline keeper. I'd say so. Okay. You think so, Lisa? I think so. Okay. I'm going to re, re rig with another minnow because my bottom one is still there, but he took my top bait. That's the beauty of running the two T-turn rig or even three. You could put one up a little bit higher, like you guys are running one a little higher, but I like running the two rig like that with the, with the one hook just a couple inches. I don't like that hook touching the bottom of the sinker. You, Antonio? Not at all. No, not at all. I, I, I like the one hook above the sinker just like that. And um, yeah, it makes it, it, makes it less... Uh, it's not dragging that way. Yeah, it's not way. dragging, and plus you're you're not banging up against the sinker. Your your bait is free to to work. So, okay, re rig. Bite. Bite, Lisa. Remember when I said? Hey, I bite. there you go. <laughs> nice. It took all three of my hooks, all three of my minnows. You lost three minnows? Yep. This feels pretty good. Oh, Just go get them, Lisa. You one minnow? Oh, you're yeah. It looks like a better better fish, eh? That's a good one. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Borderline. All right. Did you cast it out or just drop it straight down? I just dropped it straight down. Okay, all right. Now you're running, I'm just running fluorocarbon line here. Uh, my preference, of course, would be to run braid, but this reel just had floral spooled up on it, so that's what I'm using. But you're not, uh, you're running braid, aren't you, Lisa? Yeah, today I'm running actually the uh, 10 pound Thunder Braid. Oh, you got the Thunder Braid on. I do. Okay. 10 pound, which is really, really, really thin. Oh, there's a hit, there's a hit. There's a hit. Come on back, come on back. Oh, there we go. Nice. That was a better bite. Yeah, I think we're into some fish now, folks. What a day, though. But so you're long. also, you've got a fluorocarbon leader, though. You're not running straight braid. Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it is dead calm out here. And it looks like, Lisa, this one is a little smaller than the one you caught. So, we're going to throw him back in. And I need a new minnow. Way to go, Lisa. Nice hook set. Okay. Uh, feels good. Yeah? Feels better? I think it might be two. You might have two. Did you use the Antonio method? or? I did. You did. Okay. Well, then chances are you might have two. And you I have three. three. <laughs> how's, that, how's that for a... <laughs> it's like reminds me of uh, mackerel fishing in salt water when you're catching like multiple mackerels on a mackerel rig. All throwbacks, eh, Lisa? All throwbacks. They're about the same size. There we go. This one ah, doesn't feel too bad, actually. Now, if you're wondering how we found this spot, actually, what we did, folks, is I know I, I mentioned we're fishing a bit of a break, but we also uh, I also looked at the graph and looking for bait fish and the. The graph was just loaded with bait fish uh, when we made our way up here, just loaded with it. And what's happening are these perch are just feeding on those bait fish. It looks like Antonio's got another one. And that's a sure sign of perch being around when the bait fish are around. Find the bait fish and you find the perch. There we go. Fish, Antonio? Yeah, I took your fish. You took my fish. That wasn't very nice. That doesn't seem too bad. No? It might be too. Maybe three. It could be three. No, it's just one. Not bad. Oh, that's a keeper. Now we should say because it's, uh, I mean, we're we're fishing here. It's basically just about October, as I mentioned, and uh, these fish will start to school up, and uh, you'll typically get the bigger ones moving in as you get more into the fall. But uh, right now they seem to be smaller, but the fishing is only going to get better as, uh, as we get closer to November. And these fish will stay in this 55, 60, even 65 feet of water once November rolls around. And it's great perch fishing from here on in. I have a good feeling about this. About this spot or? Yeah. About that cat. Oh, there's a bite. There's I a bite. We're going to get a few right now. There's a bite. There's a bite. There's a fish. This one feels a little bit better. I think I got a better perch. Yeah? 
well, better compared <laughs> compared to the ones we've been catching. Uh, it feels decent, not huge, but decent. But I didn't use the Antonio method, and look it, I still got two. <laughs> A double header. <laughs> but they're both small. I got one. You got one too, Antonio? Yeah. Small. I mean, that. I mean, that's not a bad perch, but we'd like to get the bigger size Link Erie jumble perch. Oh, I mean, they're not. Antonio? They're down there. They're down there. Okay. Well, I just tossed my line back in. We could be on a. We could be on a small school of them here. And uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a little chunky. Okay, let's see if I can get a height hit here. Okay, Lisa. There you go. Nice hook set. That's what I like to see. Feels decent? Feels decent. What a day on the water, folks. This is great. We're going to have, I think we're going to have ourselves an outstanding day with hopefully some bigger fish, but that one will keep, Lisa. That one will keep. Uh, here we go. Good hook we're on them. Yeah, I'll just put my hook back down there again. I definitely have more than one. Yeah? Yeah. Did you use your technique? I did. <laughs> you were talking and I was waiting. <laughs> well, if you're wondering how to hook on minnows, we do also have a min uh, um, an episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic. <laughs> that's why you like the three rig, eh? Three it hooks? Works. Yeah? Well, hey. If you're going to send it down there, you might as well do it right. You, you might as well. A nice triple header. But we also have a video that shows how to rig up uh, minnows if you're interested, folks. I'll put a link in the description for you. You can check it out. But by the looks of things, we're just going to have ourselves a super outstanding day today. And uh, taking advantage of this nice mild weather close to October. This is phenomenal. We are going to have ourselves a nice fish fry tonight. Which one of your favorite so uh, freshwater fish, Antonio? To eat? Yeah. I would say perch is up there. Well, I know it's up there, but is it? would it be your favorite? Uh, I would say it is. It is I would say favorite. it is. Okay, well, he's going to have some of his favorite fish then tonight because it looks like folks are in for a great day out here. The fish are active. It's a gorgeous day. And all things going well. We'll get into some bigger fish as the day goes on. But regardless, we're having a riot out here. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderman's Fishing Tips. If you get an opportunity, do some fall fishing. Come on out to Lake Erie, find some deep water, and get into some fish. We're having a great time. Hope you are too. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, good luck and good fishing. A lot of commotion, and again, triggering a lot of bites. So that's another very effective way. Um, and again, they're going to hit the head first, so wait an extra second if you use this method.